Hi Leos, welcome to your October reading. Thank you so much for being here, I appreciate that. So Leos, I feel that a better time is on the horizon for you guys. Um, I hear like the trumpets, uh, trumpets, <laughs> trumpets come in and the big band and you know the show girls and like everything is, you know, ready to restart the show. We went back to the drawing board, we improved, you know, the show and we are back on the stage. Okay, Leos, I feel that you're starting to get, pick up more um, uh, knowledge about what who you are what you stand for what you really want what brings out that fire within you what you feel passionate for and are no not um feeling overwhelmed by it anymore as much as you did these last couple of weeks maybe even months like you felt overwhelmed by something about carrying a role or carrying um a placement in the show it's not easy to be a Leo all the time because they expect you to come up with something or to be something or to show us something right or to have this role or have this energy it's just always they always like to look towards the Leo for an answer or um, to bring a life you know the party um, things like that so I feel the pressure is a little bit you know coming down a little bit which is really good I'm excited for you guys about that I'm going to pick up an intuitive message for you guys for the month of October to see how that is playing out. I just see that there's a lot more peace coming towards your household as well. Some of you finally are making that move and settling into a new house, feeling much more peaceful and happy with that. Um, and others of you are reconnecting with people that were just, you were not in alignment with basically. So let's see. Some of you recently gave birth to a baby, which is like, um, not for all of you, of course, but some of you, I'm hearing like a baby girl and others. And then I hear, no, but it's also a baby boy. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just not going to go to the genders. Okay. So here we have three cards for you, which is fine. We can roll with that. They're asking you to stay connected to the higher self okay your higher self is coming through with messages it's reaching out it's showing you like listen we want to go a little you know should we just now move a little to this direction um it's about making choices taking responsibility for your um soul's purpose and you there are a lot of signs that want to come through like a lot of numbers are showing up um, four, four, four. I'm feeling three, 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 two, twenty, two, twenty, two, eleven, eleven. Like all the things for others, um, it's fifty-five or five hundred fifty-five. You know, that's quite like coming true for you guys to show you like it's time. You know, changes are coming in, things are getting better. Follow it, and it's like stay connected to your higher self. That's really important with whatever decision you make right now. It's like, does it feel good though, Leo? Does your big Leo heart is in alignment with that? Okay. Does it, do you do it from the heart? I think that's the main message that's coming through in these cards right now for you. So now is an important time to reconnect to the source. All right. That's your main message. Let's move into the tarot. I'm going to ring this bell because I feel like we're really high up in our energy. We need to calm down a little bit. So if you're wearing headphones, tone them down a little bit or take them out, okay? Okay, Leos. Let's get this started. Leos, for the month of October, it's coming through. See? Working together on on something some of you are helping a friend out with their wedding and the wedding arrangements for others you it's you working together for something for a bigger group yeah you see six of six of cups others of you are doing this sort of party for your parents or for like grandparents or something because they have like this big jubileum thing you know celebration anniversary coming up and you're like sort of reminiscing working together in a group to really show you know like all the things that they've done for you or anything like that it's just a 
you know it's there's a bigger group part of it it's not just you i feel so that's what's coming through tree tree so there's your um spirit guides coming through again it's like hey we got you right now like we're helping you out Some of you have been in group therapy for a little while and that has really helped you to work through certain barriers when it comes to allowing other people to give you tips and things, you know, of like maybe how, maybe you should look at this or maybe you should look at it from that point of view. Well, at least you did something that is reaping the reward. You're getting more in alignment. You feel more peaceful with the people around you. You'll feel more peaceful with yourself, with the journey. That's for October. So if you're not there yet, that's something you're moving towards. Then I have the tree of, 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 of wands here, which is very important because you start to see, you know, payout from the work you've been putting in and the changes you've been making. That's not been easy, I'm hearing. It wasn't easy. Here we go. Here you are look at that the sun is coming through with the star card that's soul energy it's like your soul just being in alignment and happy you know um page of wands so starting to take a new journey that's more in alignment with you that's more representing of the person that you are the soul's purpose you have there's a lot of alignment beautiful energy leo page of wands not not scared to start over or learning how not to be afraid to be a beginner again it's something new overall you start something comes in that's major you see because like these ships come in here we have the sun and the stars like oh my gosh you know <laughs> i wasn't expecting that but hey it's all more than welcome you see it's just starting something new and when you receive something you want a new project you want to you want to you know you ended something then you want to start something new it's like oh if i can get that then maybe just maybe i can actually do this as well because i see you restarting you know coming back together and starting from scratch and you're building it up again you know go from three to the one to the two it's just maybe you've just recently came back from traveling and now you're starting to make new travel plans with maybe someone else okay <laughs> this is a two of cups so that's love coming through for you it's a divine partner is somebody you see the eight of cups come through as well let me get one more card out of that one yeah okay what they show me with this leo is that um there is love around you there is this healing of your heart chakra and there's like you opening up and maybe you're already in a relationship at this moment but I just feel some of you are just, you have like a commitment. Like you're scared of like really committing to this new energy. Maybe it caught you off guard and you really didn't see it coming. And then it's like, you know, like, I don't know, man. Like I thought things were a certain way. And then there were like a lot more things hitting beneath the surface with this other person. And like, I don't know, you know, I just don't know if I can actually open up again like that. So some of you really want to walk away from a divine partner or you're thinking about should i walk away should i be guarded right now um for others of you you just are working hard on something and you're keeping it to yourself let me see because we have the ten of cups here as well so there is something major with love yeah oh oh okay some of you are finding out you're pregnant or you recently found out you're pregnant and the, the 
the, the person you know that's involved in that situation because you need a person involved mo mostly <laughs> um, that person is I just feel like he's not really responding in the way that you want to basically that's not for all of you but that's for some of you They're so all over the place with your reading because there's so much different energy coming through. So I'm just going to get some more cards out to see which storyline they want me to go with. Okay, Leos. Leos. Yeah, okay. Yes. When it comes to the heart, you're first healing certain things, whether you're already in a union or not. But let you know, let's go with the storyline of you being single and been hurt in the past or having had a hard time to really come back to yourself after a, a, a relationship. But you're healing first. You first focus on the healing, balancing things out. If you are in a relationship right now, I just think things are a little bit on hold right now because you are healing things from within it's your own personal journey inside the journey that you are on together we also have our own personal life and personal development and growth and souls souls evolution whether we are in a union or not and the thing is is that it's seeing things from a higher perspective will bring the two of you close together if that's something that's connecting to you if not be patient focus on yourself release the things you know that get you off balance and make you feel less worthy than that you truly really are and you're coming more in alignment healing things but also like uh, you feel a lot more patient like you feel trusting you could trust the universe to come into divine timing with something else with something new you're keeping things close to your chest like it's not you're not out there running and screaming everything you know this is my next step this is what i'm gonna do you know it's like you're just working focus on the work yeah you have been putting in the work some of you haven't really been seeing out the, the results that you want but it is coming in here we have the, you know the four of ones really wanted to connect to the tree of pentacles so she's allowed to lay there if she really wanted it okay it's fine but it's coming together there's much more peace and i feel like if there's some something that just kept your mind so occupied you don't really have that much room for anything else and now i feel like room is starting to come back in yeah you just feel restless about something you know you feel restless about how something went somebody communicated with you how someone treated you the cold like you don't understand the distance like it's like the most thing i'm hearing like it's just distance like you feel like this wall is up what's up with that don't be too hard on yourself when it comes to taking a break for yourself. Just take, a, you know, a little getaway or just not answering your phone for one night. You know, just put your phone away. Just have to spend some time, go to bed early, all of that. Yeah, everything comes out in reverse. All the peaceful cards, like, you know, it's just holding on. Don't be too hard on yourself when it comes to this, Leo. Let me see if that's actually another person because yeah your fears are sort of i don't know what's been what happened or i don't know how with what you felt so overwhelmed but it got you stuck in the hat space and it was a little not enough room for you to just go with where you feel and, and follow that passionate energy. So what happened was, there was just so much miscommunication, and sort of a power struggle within, I feel more. So you came off cold and distance, but that wasn't what you were actually wanting to send out. But that was what you were sending out a little bit at those times. But I see that you're starting to become way more confident again, feeling better, feeling like, you know, your opinion matters. You're stepping up to that energy, feeling way more self-confident again. And from that place, you speak your truth. Because you can look, you know, it's, it's better to come into the queen energy than the king of swords energy. Because the queen, you know, she, yeah, she tells it how it is. Libra energy, she tells it how it is. But she's not afraid, you know, to be emotional as well you know she is very soft on the inside she has a beautiful energy on the inside she just knows how to show it and not to show it too and be 
clear and set boundaries there is a there is a there's a line in that you know setting up boundaries and that's healthy doesn't make you arrogant or anything like that so what else wants to come out here feeling there we go beautiful much more lighter energy because you have your confidence back you will get your confidence back in october and everything is lighting up you see from the we go from the emperor energy into the full energy everything is just lighting up from the king of swords into the queen of swords from the eight of swords into the eight of wands there's a, still a lot of communication it's just not only in your head it's actually back and forth okay and then we just have the queen of wands which is beautiful this one wants to come out three of cups and that's when you come and show up again so that's that celebration beautiful yes wheel of fortune there's a shift happening it's a change you're starting to feel way you know more yourself again i feel like you lost yourself a little bit leo and then coming in alignment with that and you have more patience again as well a lot more trust in your inner journey a lot more trust in the universe again a lot more faith walking by faith not by sight not all the time you know what i'm saying but <laughs> let me see overall that's just where we're going the rest is the underlining energy three of pentacles four of wands coming together with the six reconciliation three of wands beautiful sun with the star i mean doesn't get any better than this beautiful leo it just is it's great i'm excited for you guys let me see i'm going to put um three cards out on the table so you can pick your extra message for the month of october i'm gonna use a different deck i just wanted to shuffle out the energy for now um let's yes let's pick this deck three cards for my leos three cards for my beautiful leos three cards for my beautiful leos one two this one wants to come out three okay i'm gonna ring the bell one more time so you can tune into your higher self your inner wisdom your intuition, however you want to call it. All right. Let's start with the first card, Leo. Bodies of water. They're asking you to spend time near a lake, the ocean, a fountain. That could also be very helpful to recharge your batteries first before you take the stage again. Okay? A river, a lake, or ocean. So connect to water energy within you. You can also take a crystal bath. That that's something that's, you know, easier for you. It's also very helpful. It's just connect to water. It will help you purge and recharge your energy. We have the beautiful card transformation for people who picked card number two. This is one of my favorite cards from the whole deck. You are experiencing enormous change right now, Leo, which brings great blessings. So great blessings are coming towards you because you are going and embracing this change as well. Card number three, Mother Earth. Some of you are involved with environment issues, you know, standing up for the climate change, doing things, you know, to make people more aware, all of those things, because you are being called up on to help with the environment. And that's very important. So whatever ways that shows up, you know, we have different ways of helping out the environment. But I feel that you have a purpose in that and you're starting to align and realign in that. And that might be the reason why the Tree of Pentacles came true. Because you and another bigger group are doing something for the earth together. Because together you're stronger when it comes to things like this. Okay? Beautiful. So if, that, if you wanted <laughs> to know, then that's your confirmation right there. 
okay thank you leos i love you guys so much to the moon you know and beyond i'll be back soon for now you're having a beautiful month of october i love you guys bye leos bye